In this video, I'm going to teach you how to subtract similar and dissimilar fractions. For example, you are tasked to solve these fractions. 3 fourths minus 1 fourth. In order to solve this, let's picture out first how these two looks like. We have 3 shaded parts out of 4, that's 3 fourths, minus one shaded part out of four. This means we want to remove one shaded part from three fourths. And we have, we have two fourths. So the expected answer for this is two fourths. So let us solve this. The rule for subtracting fractions is to copy the common denominator and subtract the numerators. So let us copy the denominator, that's 4, and subtract the numerators, 3 minus 1, that's 2. But then, this is not yet in simplified form or the lowest term. How will you know that it's not in lowest term? If it can be divided by a common number, this time it is divisible by 2. So, the final answer is 4 divided by 2 is 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1. So the final answer is 1 half. But then, our figure on top doesn't look like 1 half. Actually, it is 1 half if we are to remove the two vertical slices. So that is the one half. How about this example? Nine tenths minus three fifths. This time, it's not that easy to solve because the denominators are not the same. We cannot just simply subtract the numerators. So, let's just look at first the figures for these two fractions. It's 9 out of 10 and we want to take away 3 out of 5. That looks weird and we cannot solve it because the both figures doesn't fit. So how to solve it? The best way to solve it is to make it the same denominators. So to make it the same denominators you must multiply 5 into 2. But for every fraction, whatever you do to the denominator, you must also do the same to the numerator. So it must be times 2. So that means 5 times 2 is 10. 3 times 2 is 6. So it's now 6 tenths and they have the same denominator. But then, our figure doesn't look like 6 tenths. What happens to it when you multiply the fraction by 2? It's actually divided into two parts for every part. So it looks like this. So basically, it sounds like the opposite. For if you times 2, the fraction, the figure, is divided by 2. So now, it's easier for us to solve because the two figures fit 9 tenths and we want to remove 6 tenths. So how much is left? That's 3 tenths. And then let's solve this because the expected answer is 3 tenths and we expect that same answer will arrive. So let's copy the denominator, that's 10, and 9 minus 6, that's 3. So the final answer is 3 tenths. Now how about this example? 2 thirds minus 3 fifths. This is way harder than the previous one, because the two denominators are not just a multiple of the other. So let's analyze first the figures for these two fractions. 
2 thirds or 2 shaded parts out of 3 and we want to take away or remove 3 shaded parts out of 5 that sounds weird and it doesn't fit for 2 figures we cannot just simply take away 3 pips from a figure that is a 2 thirds so how to solve this? the best way to do it, to solve this is to make both the same denominators now what to do to make it the same denominators we need to multiply the 2 thirds by 5 and the 3 fifths by 3 so that both denominators becomes 15 now why did I choose 15 as the common denominator because it's the least common denominator but you may choose other common denominators aside for 15 as long as you reduce the final answer to its least term still you will arrive at the correct answer so we have a denominator 15 multiplying both denominators by 5 and 3 then 2 times 5 is 10 3 times 3 is 9 so we have 10 fifteenths minus 9 fifteenths. Now it's the same denominators. How about the figures? For the first figure that is 2 thirds, since it is multiplied by 5, the figures will be divided by 5 for each part. And also to the 3 fifths, since it is multiplied by 3, then each part will be divided into 3. So now, these figures are fit to solve. So we can remove 9 out of 15 from the fractions 10 15. So you only have one shaded part that's out of 15. So let us solve this. Copy the denominator 15 and 10 minus 9 is 1. So the final answer is 1 15th. Since you have learned the concept of subtracting fractions, let me show you the fastest way of subtracting fractions. Let us use the previous example. 2 thirds minus 3 fifths. To solve this in the fastest way, we multiply the new denominators. 3 times 5, that's 15. And then we cross multiply the values. 2 times 5, that's 10. Minus 3 times 3, that's 9. So the answer, 10 minus 9, is 1 15. And that's the final answer. Let's say you are tasked to solve this. 2 and 3 fourths minus 1 and 1 fourths. How do we subtract these mixed fractions? Let us first look at the figures for these fractions. 2 and 3 fourths minus 1 and 1 fourths. This means we want to remove 1 and 1 fourths from 2 and 3 fourths. So let me illustrate this to you and how this would look like. So let's copy the 2 and 3 fourths and remove 1 and 1 fourths from it. Now let's remove 1 and 1 fourth. So 1 whole and 1 fourth. So what do we have left? It's 1 and 2 fourths. So the expected answer is 1 and 2 fourths. Now let us subtract the fractions below. It's equal to, copy the denominator 4, and subtract the numerators 3 minus 1, that's 2, and the whole numbers 2 minus 1 is 1. So the answer is 1 and 2 fourths. But 2 fourths can be divided by 2, so that it will be reduced to its lowest term. 
2 divided by 2 is 1 and 4 divided by 2 is 2. So that means the final answer is 1 and 1 half. Now the figure above is still in 2 fourths. This means 2 fourths and 1 half are the same. So how did it begin become the same? If we remove the slices, then 2 fourths becomes 1 half. That means 2 fourths is the same as 1 half. Let's take another example. 3 and 2 thirds minus 1 and 1 half. Now this is different because the denominators are not the same. That means we cannot just simply subtract directly the fractions. So let's look at the figures for these fractions. 3 and 2 thirds minus 1 and 1 half. So that means the, the base and the figure, they don't fit with each other and you cannot just simply remove a fraction from the other. And so, the best thing to do is to make both denominators the same. So we need to multiply a number to one fraction and another number to the other fraction, such that both sides will be having the same denominator. So for me, I multiply 2 thirds by 2 so that the denominator becomes 6, and I multiply 3 the one half so that the denominator becomes six. I choose six because it's the lowest common denominator. But you can choose some other common denominators as long as the denominator becomes the same. So three times two or two times three, that's six. Two times two is four, and one times three is three. So now it's 3 and 4 6 minus 1 and 3 6. How about the figures? Since 2 thirds is multiplied by 2, that means each part of this is divided into 2. Then 1 half since multiplied by 3, then each part of it will be divided by 3 in the figure. Now, the figures are fit to solve now. We can remove 1 and 3, 6 from 3 and 4, 6. So, this is equal to, let's copy the 3 and 4, 6. And then we remove 1 and 3, 6. One whole and three parts. 1, 2, 3. So, how much do we have left? That's 2 and 1, 6. So the expected answer is 2 and 1, 6. Let's solve the fractions below. So this is equal to copy the denominator 6, subtract the numerators 4 minus 3, it's 1, and subtract the whole numbers 3 minus 1, that's, that's 2. So 2 and 1, 6. Let's take another example. 3 and 1 third minus 1 and 1 half. It looks like the same example with the previous one, but you will see the difference later. So we want these two fractions to have the same denominator. But first, let's look at the figure of these fractions. Here's a 3 and 1 third minus. 1 and 1 half. So we want to remove 1 and 1 half from 3 and 1 third. And so let's make it the same denominator. Let's make it 6 as the least common denominator. So times 2 for 1 third and times 3 for 1 half. So 3 times 2 or 2 times 3. That's 6. 1 times 2. It's 2. 1 times 3. It's 3. Then for the figures, since 1 third is multiplied by 2, then each part is divided by 2. 
for one half since it is multiplied by three then each part will be divided by three and so the figures are good to fit and now we can subtract the figures so this is equal to let us copy the three and two six and so we will remove one and three six one whole and three parts one two but then the third part is not there then we have to slice one hole so that we can remove one part to make it all three so let us slice into six this one hole that is six and then remove one part then that makes it all three that has been removed so how much is left that's one and five six so the expected answer is one and five six and we will solve the fraction below now we cannot subtract directly the fractions especially that the numerators is not possible to solve that's two minus three so that means two needs to borrow from one whole and so we will subtract one whole from three and then we will add six to two why six it's because the denominator is six that means for every one whole there are six parts so now three minus one is two two plus six is eight so now it's two and eight six minus one and three six so let's solve this is equal to copy the denominator six then eight minus three that's five two minus one is one so the final answer is one and five six that's all and thanks for watching i hope you have learned a lot from this video